Hi everyone, hope you're all having a great day. Without further ado, let's learn something epic. So today we'll be going over max points on a line, and we'll give it endpoints on a two-dimensional grid, two-dimensional plane. We'll find the maximum number of points that lie on the same straight line. So here's an example, they have the three points, and all these three points are on the same line because they have the same slope, and so they output three. And here we see the longest line looks like it's this one. It has four points, so we output four. The main idea for this problem is that we and look at the example and we see that points that lie on the same line have to have the same slope. So we take this point and we choose it and fix it with the rest of the points. So I'll take this point and this point, find the slope. I'll store it in the hash map where the key is the slope. And the number of points that lie on that line will be the value. And also, since I chose this point and I'm doing it for the rest, I'll also find the slope for this one. So in this case, it would go up to 2. But I'll include this current point because the current point was used to calculate the line each time. So my hash map will be 2. And I'll add this point, getting 3. So the output will be 3. So if I see and I continue this, I'll find the slope for the rest of the points using this point. So this one, we get infinite slope, some value, some value, some value. Uh, and these two will yield some value. But see, the maximum for using this point would be 3. If I use this point, find the infinite slope, find a bunch of slopes, and then I have hash map for this slope, and the key would be three, and then I would add, I would include this point, so that would be four, and so I would output four. If you continue for any one of these points and calculating the slopes for the rest, it would be the same because all these four are on the same line. And this point will not, this point's maximum is three points, so it will not exceed. So we. So your algorithm works to outputs four. Now, going through this example, we saw there's a couple of cases. You have an infinite slope, or you can have non uh, a slope that's non that's not infinite. That's important because when you're calculating the slope, you get infinite slopes when the x's x coordinates are the same, and the x coordinates will subtract and they become zero when you calculate the slope. And so if you try to calculate the slope, you will get a division by zero error. So that's one thing to keep track of for this problem. We have infinite slopes. Slopes that are not infinite. These are a few cases where points are on the same line. Now there's another case that's kind of tricky. You can't see it in the example, but it is possible that you have same points in the list. So same points, of course, they lie on the same line. So these are the cases, are all the cases for points on the same line. So like we said before, we would, well, we need a place to store the number of max points. And each time, we will choose one point and use that point to calculate all the slopes. So choosing a point, we'll use an index so we can gather its coordinates. And we'll do this for all the points. We'll choose this, call this point x1, y1, for its coordinates. Get it from index. See up here, definition of the class point. Now we get the points. We said we would use a hash map. We'll call it slopes. And we'll call this variable same point because at the end, for example, when we calculated this, the hash map value was 2, but we want to add the number of same points. And in this case, it would mean we're just including this point. But if we had, yeah, so it would be 2 plus 1 yielding 3, but if we had two coordinates 
two points with one one, then our same point would be two. So we know the answer would be four in that case if we had two points with coordinate one one in this array. So that's the purpose of same point to take into account the current point that we're using to calculate all the slopes, but also to take into account multiple points that have that same value. So now that we have chosen the point, got received the coordinates, x1, y1, have the hash map and the same point, we are ready to iterate through the rest of the points to calculate the slope. So similar thing, except we know what the index is. So we don't want to calculate points that we already calculated in the past. So that's why we have index plus one to the length of points. We'll call this x2, y2. And we have the point. We can check, oh, in the case of points in the same line, let's put this in here. Same points, we'll know it's the same point if x1 equals x2 and y1 equals y2. So when you have this case, we increment the same point. Then we check if we have infinite slope. So the same point, it could also be infinite slope, but we're already taking into account the same point, so there's no need to do this. We know we have the same term infinite slope if x1 equals x2. And when that happens, we check in our hash map if we already have slopes, or if we already have an infinite slope. If it is, then we will increment slopes. And the key is infinite by one. Else, we will insert it. Next, we have the slopes where they are not infinite. This is where, oh, right. So we should use NumPy for this because if we don't have high number of bits that we use, then two points, two, two points with different slopes they might round down to become the same slope with the same value and that would not be ideal or we would get the wrong answer so that's a small thing to bring it to the interviewers see if they care about that If the slope is in slopes, similarly to how we did, uh, did the above case, right, we should have an else here. Else we will calculate the slope. Yeah, if it's in the slopes, then we will increment by one. start with one in the value for the hash map. So after we do this, we have all of the slopes. After you iterate through this, it means we've chosen, well, we go into this level. We've already chosen one point and we calculated all of the slopes that can be made with that one point. So we'll have this variable called local max and we'll iterate through each of the slopes. And we want to find the maximum. So 
and we'll find the max of three local max and the current split value that we need. This will be cached the best maximum. But we also have to keep in account that there are points that there are duplicate points. So we have to add those to our best local maximum that we cached. And then from there, we now find the maximum between our max points um, that can be created, that are calculated by other points as a fixed point to calculate all the slopes. And after we do that, we return our max. First, we get the max points, then, oh, I forgot to import numpy, so, yes, that's good. First, we have max points to store the maximum number of points, then we iterate through each of the points, choosing each point, x1, y1, to calculate as a slope for the rest of the points in index, and index y. have a hash map to sort of slopes. The same point initialized to 1. And we do index plus 1 because we do not want to calculate points, calculate the slopes that we have already calculated. We get the second point for the slope is i. And in this case, we have the same points and we increment by 1. There's infinite slopes for this in. It's already calculated. We increment by 1. If not, we start it at 1. Last case is it's not infinite slope, not points, so we must calculate the slope. Use numpy, float 128. Have enough precision so slopes don't run down to have the same value. should be it's misspelled. We have the same thing for slopes as infinite slopes. If the slope is contained in the hash map, we increment by one, else we start it with one. After we do this, each time we're doing local max, I believe this needs to be out one more level. be out one more level because after one particular point we want to find the local max for that point. So we're not doing every single point as the local max. Oh right, slope in slopes. The boss is a bit of an error. Local max equals max slope. Loop. Then we add the same points to our local max. And then lastly, we cache our max points to our local max. So C is here. Alright, cool. Accepted. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you learned something. Also, follow me on Twitter if you want the latest updates. The link to my Twitter is in the description below. That's all for today, everyone. Have a great day and happy learning.